Welcome back to Good Day Sacramento. I'm Police Ortiz introducing you to a new product. Maybe you're looking for a new granola, a new breakfast. This could be it. I've got the creator with me this morning. Her name is Claire Wetzel. Miss Claire, illegal oats is the name. What makes them illegal? Uh, that would be the mealworms. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? Mealworms. Yes, my <gasps> friends. Mealworms. Yep, that, <laughs> that is ingredient number two. Oats mealworm powder. Oh my gosh, we have Sweet. so many questions. You've got so many flavors. Um, here is your bowl. I need to know, Miss Claire, what, what made you add mealworms to your granola? Well, it was um, a podcast I had listened to oh. about the future of food, oh. and the future of food is insects. Really? Yeah. Okay. And so you said, I'm going to come up with something. Yeah. So <laughs> I tried all these different foods, all these different bugs, and it took me probably about a month to settle on granola. Oh, my gosh. But um, I'm really happy with where I ended up yeah. with the granola. That was the food that um, worked out the best yeah. in my family and friends focus groups. <laughs> Um, oh, I bet those friends and family, they got to be really good friends. <laughs> yeah, and uh, some even close friends and family would not eat them. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I could see that. I mean, when you show me a bowl of, of bugs like that, I'm, I'm, I got a little creeped out. Okay, I need to know, what other bugs have you tried? What bugs did you try in your research? So I tried crickets first because that's what everyone thinks of when they think of eating it. Uh, that was at the top of my list. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, also grasshoppers, uh -huh. ants. Um, June beetles, uh -huh. and they all were inferior okay. to mealworms, of okay. course. Of course. Okay. <laughs> so this is what um, you started with. You actually, when you started, you b banana bread. You said was one of the first foods that you tried, and she tried it just like this. And then she's like, "Oh no, this will be better." So you use a coffee grinder yeah. to make them into a powder. And so then this is what it looks like. See, you can't even tell. Well, you might see like a rogue one, but the rogue ones are okay, right? <laughs> yes, they're okay. Some I've heard some people will uh, take them out and crunch on them oh. and just kind of enjoy as maybe like a fear factor kind yeah. of thing. They enjoy that. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I should also mention you got a grant from your college, University of Denver, right? Yeah. That she won and that's how she launched this business. Uh, she's just a college sick kid. <laughs> also a truby, just saying. Okay, oh, I gotta um can, should I try this? Yeah. Oh okay, what God, what kind good. am I trying? So it's lemon coconut. Lemon coconut. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's uh -huh. actually quite lovely. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that usually sells out every week <laughs> really? uh, at the farmers market. Oh my god. Yeah. She's at the Cranberry Orange. Car Carmichael Farmers Market this weekend. <laughs> also online. I'm telling you, you're gonna want to try this. It's the future of our food. It is the future of our food. <laughs> it's gonna go great with your coffee. Illegal oats. You. <laughs> I should have brought my coffee. You should have. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send it back to you. <laughs> Enjoy your breakfast.